Watch Mitchell Dillman's Steel and Woodworking on Amazon Fire TV. This video brought to you by Branding Irons Unlimited at brandingirons.com for all your branding iron needs. And Colorado Carpentry Specialists at cocarpentryspecialists.com specializing in home remodeling including kitchen, bath, and basement. So we're out here on the northwest side of Colorado Springs this morning to install these two beautiful log mantles. We've made one from the Waldo Canyon fire, the other one's from the Black Forest fire. So we're working with Colorado carpentry specialists to get these installed. They're a local licensed and insured contractor. So as we head on in with these, why don't you take a minute to watch how we made them. So we're gonna get started out here today with these two logs. They came from the Mountain Shadows neighborhood. I picked them up over there right after the Waldo Canyon fire back in 2012. You can see it's not big enough to make a single mantle, so we're gonna cut both of them and take them back into the shop and do a glue up. Once we're done with that, then we'll get back over there and get the log we need for the upstairs mantle. Head on over there and cut that other tree first, though. All right, so here's our next victim. <laughs> this is the tree we brought in from the Black Forest fire back in 2013. It's been laying out here this whole time. It's nice and dry. Let's get it trimmed down, cut up, get it over there, and mill it into the parts we need. Get the forklift over here. Get this over to the mill. <laughs> Thank you. 
it's six inches. Six inches. It came out at six inches. Well, there you go. It's just as easy as that. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. Now, if you're interested in one of these wildfire mantles for yourself, be sure to come find me at coloradospringsawmill.com or look up Jeremy at cocarpentryspecialist.com. They specialize in bathrooms, basements, kitchens, remodels of all kinds. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week.